Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bow down and worship Yahweh. Hallelujah. Our beloved, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us today, the 2nd of September 2020. We bless the name of the Lord. Another encounter. Isn't that amazing? Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. We love the Lord for those wonderful things he's doing. A lot of people slept and they wake, they never woke up. But we are one that are accountable to worship the Lord, to be in his presence tonight. Isn't that amazing? We have every reason to glorify him. Thank you, Jesus. We do not take that moment for granted because God has been faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless the name of the Lord. Shall we... Um, Close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We magnify you, Lord. We reference you for this wonderful moment that you're about, we're about to have an encounter in your presence. Father, Lord, we, we pray that you go with us in the name of Jesus. We bow down to worship you. We pray, oh Lord, that as we proceed in this program, you will go with us in the name of Jesus. And only your name will be glorified. In the Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Viewers all over the world, wherever you are watching me, I greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I just want to encourage you. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being part of this. Some of us are so consistent that I don't, I can't even I don't know what to say. I'm so, so happy. I mean, for being there for us, we just bless your name. We bless the name of the Lord in your life for being consistent, for being part of this program, for you have really, really be encouraging people like us because you are consistent. Thank you, Lord, for your life. And we just, I just want to give a shout out to you because you are wonderful. We do not take it for granted. And we bless the name of the Lord for your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel all time uh, because this series is every Wednesday and we want you to be a partaker. We want you to be a partaker. We are in the month of September and we every moment of this time is a time to praise the Lord. Every moment of this time is a time to trust in the Lord. Every moment of this time is, to time, is a time to worship Him. Hallelujah. And uh, without taking much of your time, um, 
We just want to worship the Lord. We want to give him glory. We want to worship him for what he has done for us. Hallelujah. Stay tuned. Hallelujah. Oh, my 
accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Um, the Lord is good. The Lord is good to us. And we have every reason, every reason to glorify his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, without taking much of our time, um, I just want to um, tell us about September to remember, coming on, Friday, on Saturday, the, the 5th of September. It's going to be a power-packed moment in the presence of the Lord. We're going to be worshiping the Lord like never before. We're going to be praising his name. We're going to be giving thanks for what the Lord has done. This is our yearly concert. Please stay tuned to this channel on YouTube, Emmanuel Damiro, uh, on Facebook, Emmanuel Oladuni Damiro, and on Zoom. Uh, the, the, the link is already on the air. Please, on this same platform, please join us. And as you do so, the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus. Um, without taking much of our time, the time is fast spent today. Um, we, are, we, we have a wonderful man of God who is going to be um, admonishing us today. Um, is, uh, this man of God is from the Jesus Glorification Ministry. In Nigeria, all the way from Nigeria, he's going to be blessing us with that word, powerful word coming from him. He's a visionary, he's a God, he's a servant of the Lord, 
and is a he has he, he, he has, he's a presiding pastor of Jesus um, uh, Jesus um, glorification ministry in Nigeria. The, I mean, the amazing thing about this man of God is that he trusted in the Lord. He left everything. He, he trusted in the Lord. This is an encounter. I'm going to share it with you before the man the man of God comes uh, to bless us. Um, he, he left everything. Everything. Imagine someone having a, 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 a degree in mechanical engineering, a first class degree in mechanical engineering, and he left everything. As he heard the voice, the Lord said to him, do my work, serve me. He was not fascinated with that that he's going to get from his career. But he followed Jesus. He followed Jesus. You know, so and he's, he has served creatively in so many uh, organizations. He's a leader in the capacity of Christian organization. I mean, he has encountered Jesus since 1969. And when I read his profile, I was like, "Wow, you must come to this platform to to bless us." Hallelujah. I mean, he's a he's a he's a, he's, he's a man after the the things of God, and beloved. I'm going to, uh, he's a man with a lot of visions as well, because I've seen him differently in different places, in Lagos, Abuja, and uh, he's, he aspires for the things for, of God. Beloved, um, this evening, I'm going to be, I'm going to introduce to you uh, this humble man of God. His name is Pastor Israel uh, Ademilui, and um, I'm going to be your host tonight. But I'm, I will introduce him to you. He's our guest tonight, and is please make sure that you have a free heart to receive tonight, because God is about to do something. You need to trust in the Lord. God is about to do something. Put all your worries aside, and as you listen, the Lord will bless you. Pastor Israel Ademelu, you're welcome. Hallelujah. Pastor Israel, you are welcome. Are you there? We can hear you. Yeah, can you? Yeah, I can hear you now. Um, I know there might be a technical fault, um, but Pastor, Pastor Israel, can you hear me? Bless the Lord. We can see you now. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. I can hear you loud and clear. We can't, we can't hear you. We can't hear you, sir.
Hello. Yes, we can hear you now. Hello. Hallelujah, we can hear you, sir. No, it's not from here. We can hear you, sir. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Can you hear me? We can hear you. To remove, you need to remove your hairpiece. Remove, we can't hear you. Remove it, remove it. We want to thank God for uh -huh. today. Better, better. We're sorry about the little, yes, sorry about the little, good, sorry about the little uh, delay and technical fault. So, like we said. We want to thank God for solid evangelical outreach and the man in this program. May the Lord bless you. I want us to get ready for a very good time tonight because God is about to do something great for us. I keep into this program every opportunity God has something to do in our lives. Wherever you are in the world, whatever situation you are in, you need to know that God is ready to do something great in your life. And one thing for you to access God, I want you to understand some things because God's word says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You need to know, you need to trust in the Lord. You need to know you need access to God access to his power because you are trusting God for something. Where are you today? What is your own scenario that are trusting God for? You need to understand how to access the strength of God, the power of God, so that you can maximize the benefits of God. And I want you to understand that God does not infringe on your space. God needs a choice for him to do something in your life. God is willing. In fact, God told me today that I convince you of his help. I want you to understand that tonight I'm going to convince you that God is going to help you. And you know what? God is going to do exactly. He's going to confirm his word. And one thing is this. God also says, I should tell you, to convince you of his willingness to help you. God is, is willing to help you. Many people know God can help, but they don't know if he's going to help, if he's willing to help them. So once we get these two, these two things right tonight, God is going to do it. And another thing God told me to tell you is that it's not about the preaching alone. It's about what God is going to do. So please don't limit tonight your trust in my preaching. It's about what God said. It's going to do something mighty in your life because God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you may ask or think, above all you may imagine. That situation, God knows about it. That matter, God knows about God knows your own peculiar situation. So now you need to access God by trusting the name. They that trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. So God respects your choice. You need to choose God, your will, because you are created in the image and likeness of God. So God wants you to decide for him. God is not going to decide for you to choose him. But once you choose him, you are going to get all the benefits that you have. Now, the Bible says something. All who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All. You need to stop condemning yourself because the person creating the problem, you know, the fifth comment not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He's creating the problem and he's condemning you so that you will think because of your sins and your problems that God is not going to listen to you. We need to remove that condemnation tonight. God says that there is no more condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So God is not condemning you. So God is willing to help you because God created you in his own image likeness and has a purpose for you. And I want you to understand something that when you trust in the Lord, you're not going to get the crumbs, the cream, you know, the, the, the lepers. You are going to get the best of God. People leave trusting in God for the last option. No. Trusting in God will be the first option for you. And I want you to understand God has already waited for you. That when you trust him, his plan for you will start. It will take off. So that's job. Whether in a situation where you lose your job, 
God is already waiting to give you that job back or to see a better job or you take it, take it into a business. So I want you to understand the template is ready with the tempt. The template is going to adapt to your own situation. So don't start to worry. How is God going to do it? How is going to help me? God knows your address. He knows your peculiar situation. And he has a template to help every man. Because he created us in the image and likeness. I want you to understand something again. That the best you are going to get is better than what you have, than money can provide for you. It's better than what that can provide for you. It's better than what the man can provide for you. Because the best of God is beyond this world. Don't say that I have not seen. Here has not, it has not come to the mind man what God has prepared for them that love him. So I also want you to know that we have gotten to the point of preparation. God has appeared. He has seen from the end that you're going to have a challenge. He knows that he's going to check this world. He knew that there was going to be coronavirus. So he has prepared for you. He prepared the best for you. Look at what happened to the person. God prepared something bigger than you imagined. God was a step ahead of the problem. He knows how to remove all the blockages and all the problems and give us the best. But another thing is that God says that he will need a way where there has to be no way. Another problem to people, they don't know how the way is come. How is thing going to happen? You don't worry how it's going to happen. God says that I make a way where there's no way. And you know the greater news, God himself is the way. Jesus said, I am the way. The truth and the life. In that situation, God is going to open us 8 to 8. He said, and God works all things together. All things. I mean, coronavirus, that job, losing of jobs in the UK, a lot of fear and all that. God will take your fear. He's going to take this situation. He's going to take all this problem. He's going to work it together for your good. I want to ask you, what are you bringing to the table? Are you coming with a small old expectation? God wants to come with the best. You are putting a platform. Are you a job? Are you, uh, were you an employee that lost your job? Are you a job giver? Are you an employer of labor? God has just prepared everything for you. Now you need to trust in the Lord. Whether it's millions that you're trusting God, whether it's a house, whether it's health. I'm going to speak at those who have health changes. Are you listening today? Open. Let me through this broadcast. That virus, that COVID-19, you, 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 are, you, are sitting, you want a negative agenda, a negative report. I'm telling you today, wherever you, I'm prophesying, before I prophesied today, the Lord told me, they said, it's going to honor what I prophesied tonight. That means giving me a blank to prophesy. And I say to you, whether you're listening now or you're going to listen after this time or in five years time, God is going to honor this prophecy. I command everything that is attacking your earth to die, to leave you now. I command healing upon your body. I buy side healing tonight. Be healed in the name change. The mighty name of in the Lord. You need to trust. Bible says, believe in God, you'll be established. That's believe right. this prophet, you will prosper. I'm speaking to you now. You receive now, and you're going to have it. The Bible says that they believe you receive what to pray for. And you will have it. You yes. have, have that healing right now. You That's are going right. to have solution right now. Amen. Be for us. Who can be against? Oh, God yes. Be for you. God is for is already. That is why this word he sent his word and healed you and delivered you from your destruction. This situation, all the world now is going to destroy you. In fact, God has said it before that arise and shine for your light is come That's and the come. glory of the Lord is in upon you. That will cover the world. Hmm. Don't say a little. Listen, darkness is coming upon the world. Situation may coronavirus may go, and that worst thing can come. Are you going to be moved to a row, not knowing where you're going to be? Are you going to survive? No, it's not the plan of God for you. If any man be in Christ Jesus, is a new creature. He said, in Christ we live, we move, we have a being. You are movable. You are not shaking. Because he that is for you is greater than all the things that are coming to this world. So That's you are right. in the light already. He is going to bring glory to be for you. That's that right. is a portion. It's going to be a solution with you. The God of solution is for you. Then mm -hmm. there's thing I want to show you. For those who do not know God really, 
Romans chapter 10 says something. Who is going to be Christ from heaven? The Bible is saying that you don't need to be Christ from heaven. God, somebody says that but come from heaven and help me. God is not, does not need to come from heaven again. The word is in your mouth. The word is in your heart. Speak that word. Can you and your something telling you in your heart? Call upon God now inside you. That is God. You don't need to go to, to, to get permission which you have in God, brought it down to your heart. You believe in your heart that God will you. And you speak that thing, talking to you silently, your heart is going to come right. I want you to understand, that is an encounter. You don't need something shaking and some physical to happen. Before you experience an encounter, that word is silent operator. God is operating silently. The spirit of God is more, it's not by might, by power. It is by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. And some may trust in chariots. Some may trust your own. That business, that boss, that billionaire. No, God is shaking them off. Many businesses have been lost. Many billionaires they have become paupers. They're going to become paupers with them. Shift your looking on this. Who is the author and the finisher of your? The God is sending out the spirit, getting higher and higher. Ezekiel saw vision. The water was rising. And faith. That is glory. It's going to let you your waste get to the time you start to swim in so what god is going god is going to fill up his chance he's going to ever have been waiting now let me do something what has been working for the evil people before is not going to be working again you know because god is changing the system those who have been living and they've been telling them as it's like they know what they are doing they know how to do it but they can't do it your word is come it's time for god to reward you it's not that thing you are doing been failing before I prophesy today. God, those who have been a lot of things, God, go to believing God to stop their businesses, it's time for your businesses to be set up. Those who have been in fear, they have been facing challenges. That challenge is a goal. The Bible says something. Who are the mountain for Zerubbabel? That mountain is going to go. It's going to be by the Spirit of God. I want you to understand this too, that God is going to visit you by sending his word to you. Then I think God wants me to do to simplify him. God is not a complete God. Just believe in God. God said that you're going to be going through a threat again. You're going to direct. It's your small place. God is going to visit you. Miracles are going to happen in your daily life. Miracles is not a one occurrence is going to be happening for you. That job they will cover. If they don't come back, another job is coming. That sickness leaving your body now. The mighty name of Jesus. Those that have been still around you, they will still be still and know that God. That situation that you think is ordinary, something is going to happen in the situation. Just understand open. We of heaven, the heavens one is going to change. I know it's going to happen because for me, yes, now I've seen, seen cervical cancer. Cancer is appearing just by three or five minutes. Just the word of God, the Bible says that surely there shall be an end. And expectation shall not be cut off. I'm speaking to your destiny today. There will be an end to that thing you have been facing all these years. Your story is going to change. Not that you are hearing story. This one is going to change. You know why? Because the word of God cannot back to him void. And if you are, to, I'm standing in the gap for you. The grace, there's a cut that we are in now, is going to change that situation. And in this solid drug tree, there's going to be a lifting. I don't know how it's going to happen for all you there in solid this There's going to be an expansion because it's an anointing that's going to drop on that platform. It's going to drop on what you're doing. It's going to drop who are around you. People are going to get to connect back to you. And I want you to understand something. The government of the nation, you can't trust them. You can't rely on the government, somebody. The government shall be upon your shoulder. You are the next government. Just believe God for the supernatural. Just, then another thing is, there's a process. Your, your situation, maybe you need help for money. But God is looking for people who are going to take ownership. Many people believe in you watching. Who is going to be? God wants you to take ownership. You are not heir with Christ. You're not talking about change of level. God wants you to your level from an employee mentality to a what? An employer mentality. How is that going to happen? Let me describe it to you. 
many people who want God to reward them. God is saying now, you are going to be the one that will reward people for me. Because I'm thinking to sonship. You are doing childhood, you are going to son. Now, the for you, you have a joint heir with Christ. You are not going to be the one that is going to be distributing the sins of God. Now, there's one other thing I want you to know tonight. How do you connect? How do you access all these things ourselves? The Bible says in Romans chapter 4, verse 16, that for the blessing to be sure to the heir, he made it to be of it. It has to be of faith. Your connection point is set. There's no limit to your to faith. What God can do for life. So I'm expecting that there's going to be a great harvest for you. The Bible says, "Cast no your confidence," because there's going to be a great recompense of reward. If you lose your faith, there's going to be there's going to be what a great reward coming to man. God is coming to work with you. He's going to reward somebody. He's going to reward a man. He's going to reward a few husbands. You have been true to your wife. It's time for God to do it. It's time to do it. Whatever God do it, endure forever. Suddenly, through all those who own that form, you have open that forms for God. The pattern is going to be working. It's going to from faith to faith. It's going to move from glory to glory. It's going to move from blessing to blessing. Don't worry that's going to happen. And something just hits me right now. When you are up in your platform, the devil rise like storm. God is going to steal it, that storm. That storm is going to die out. It's going to be supernatural. God is going to make all the lenses that you are. What something happened today? The devil comes to kill me today. Nothing is going to happen to you. Jesus is going to rise. It's going to destroy that stuff. It's going to Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I think are you, we are we, you with me? Yeah, so I'm with we are I'm with saying, you. No. Hello. We are so with you, but there's a little bit of uh, saying that I want to bless you. I, I want to bless God's people. Your mic. I can't hear what you said. Can you say it again? So what Okay, so your profile, but I said um, now bless you. I'm gonna bless your life today. Listen, healing in the name of Jesus, healing in the mighty name of the name of Jesus. Receive provision will come upon you wherever you are listening right now in Jesus' name. Amen. That's job you are in. Whatever the problem is, I decree solution in the name of Jesus. Amen. Solution. Hallelujah. I think um, there is a little bit of network problem in Nigeria. Uh, may God help in the that mighty country. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, we bless the name of the Lord. I think there is a there is a um problem with the network in nigeria um and we couldn't um uh enjoy this session 
like we should because we had Pastor Israel is transmitting from Nigeria and um, there's a little bit of network problem uh, from Nigeria. Uh, okay we now. we have to I'm continue okay. to pray for okay. the country. Are you all right now, sir? Are you okay now, sir? Okay. Are you okay, sir? Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm here. The anointing, we're talking about God's anointing. You have anointing to overcome every process. Name. I decree the anointing of the name of Jesus. The anointing that gives you victory. From victory. Victory. Victory to victory. Back to back, back victory. Back to back faith in your life, evil. Every danger is gone off your life in the name of life. Let cancer depart from your life in the name of Jesus. And I command in Jesus' name, by the anointing of blessings, the kingdom anointed. He said, occupy till I come. You are going to start to take over your land. You are going to start to take over locations in London, in UK, in the US. God is going to hand it over to you. The secret of blessing do for you, he will give you the knowledge for it. The secret that professors, experts don't have, is going to come to you. Because the Spirit of God is going to download it into your life and receiving it. I benefit from it. That's why I'm impacting it into your life today. That your business is taking another turn. That your situation is going to become peace in the name of Jesus. Now there's something you need to understand. I prophesy the blessings. I prophesy the glory. And now people are going to start to see you. Now listen, you are not only receiving blessings, you are going to become a blessing. There's a difference. Now, receiving blessing is different from being a blessing. Now, I want you to understand something. God said that He will make you a name and a praise. And He will give you a name and a praise. They are on you. You don't know how it's going to be. God is going to do it. Just start to believe it. Things are going to start to be different from you. When people say there's a casting down, you still have access to God. God is going to have done it before. Now is the time to start on this shit. You are entering into another dimension. God has been waiting for a long time for you that trusted in the Lord. People have laughed on, at you. People have said that this God you are serving, but God is awakening for you. It's arising for you now. The enemies will scatter. Your, he will give you a new song. He will Amen. give you the opening of Amen. the map. You now start to speak to those who have been laughing at you. you are going to tell them God is going to do this and God is going to do that. Now I'm going to stop here today. Please want to say something. But this is going to do. My preaching is limited, even though it may be good. But God is going to do better than this preaching. He's going to start to confirm everything that I said now and even more that, than I have said. He said that I should tell you it's not this preaching alone, but what he's going to do. I'm expecting your miracles. I'm expecting I'm expecting testimonies of your blessings. I'm expecting you to give it, to talk about it. And not only that, those who hear your testimonies, they are going to get testimonies. They are going to get blessed. If people are going to see you differently. When they see you next time, they will just see a glory upon your life. A glory will come to that to your children. Amen. The glory will come to your wife. Amen. It's going to come to your situation, Amen. to your business, to your Amen. platforms, to Amen. your circle, to your friends, to Amen. your class, to your bank accounts every rough situation because god has prepared us. now just believe it he's freely given unto you you don't pay anything just connect yeah. by your by your what by your faith yes. thank you my brother and my sister i want to thank you for listening i know that we may be limited because of time but god is going to walk in the night when nobody is there it's going to work for you yes. god is going to work for you with your wife oh, he's yes. going to work you with your children things are going to work out just have peace just enjoy. I'm skip rejoicing, singing every day, singing in the morning as to go out, as to come in. Let people see the light. Let's find this glory to somebody else. This is what God has placed on my night, on my heart tonight, and I know this is a blessing to you. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Um. I we apologize for the um, issue around network from Nigeria. 
um well god bless you pastor god bless you pastor for those prophetic words uh abba father we just want to bless the lord for the man of god you have used to bless us tonight uh from those words that you have picked from him he has um, prophesied into our situation that we should trust in the lord that god is going to elevate us it's going to move us from where we are to another level and trusting the lord will give us assurance that god himself will be god in our life Abba Father, we thank you for this vessel you have used because you will strengthen him from strength to strength. You will give him strength and more strength in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, you will pour, you is, I will commit his ministry into your care. Abba Father, we pray, Lord, that that ministry will become stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord will shine upon him in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless that word. Because as you receive those words, uh, they will be yea and amen. And your word will be will, will, will flourish in our life as, as and it will begin to manifest great and mighty things in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for answering prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Um, thank you all for watching or being part of this uh, session. We just uh, glorify the name of the Lord for that little word that has come. The words are powerful, very on point, and is a short period, but the name of the Lord is glorified. I could feel the atmosphere. The prophecies were powerful, and if you can meditate on them, that will be God himself will manifest himself in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, beloved, I, will, I, I want to encourage you to um, continue to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Continue to subscribe to our YouTube channel because uh, we have so many, so many programs going on. And we go, just want to want to continue to share your testimony. I uh, want you to continue to share your testimony because the, at this perilous time, God is still saying something. At this perilous time, God is still saying something. And um, I want us to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, at uh, Emmanuel Demiro on Instagram, on um, Facebook, Emmanuel Oladoni Demiro. And on YouTube, Emmanuel De Miro, and our page, Solid Rock Evangelical Outreach. Um, uh, also, you can uh, check out our web on uh, fb.me, uh, CO Global Network, and you can send a message on me, um, Net Global Network. I mean, or you can contact us on 075 724 53407. Or 0740557140. Um, if you, peradventure, you want to contact the man of God that just blessed us tonight, um, if you want to contact him, uh, you can contact Pastor Israel Ademilui on uh, 00234 0023470370375. 0024-703-725. 1305. Um, I see the, what the Lord is doing in that ministry, in his ministry in Nigeria, and uh, the Lord has been faithful. The Lord is faithful. He's a faithful God, and uh, I believe that the Lord that has been blessing that ministry will continually bless us in the name of Jesus. Um, beloved, we have our um, we have our STR concert. I'm so excited about this. Our XCS concert coming up in um, uh, in in on Saturday. This Saturday, it's coming up. This Saturday is going to be a power packed one. It's going to be a power packed one. Uh, again, we're going to be main, we're going to be um, having this online on all social media platform. Um, so don't don't just keep, stay tuned to this platform. And um, you can watch it uh, live and direct because God is good. God is good. You can watch it live and direct. Uh, please be a partaker on YouTube. We're going to be transmitting on YouTube. 
and on Facebook, on um, on uh, uh, Instagram, and on uh, Zoom. We're going to be transmitting things. It's our STR concert for the year 2020. That's season eight, and we've got amazing, um, amazing uh, ministers as well, like uh, Bernardo, uh, Shion Ok, and uh, IY Divine. A lot of them like that. They're going to be ministering uh, at this program. And please, please just stay tuned. And as you do so, God will bless you. This Saturday, 5th of September at 2.30. 5th of September at 2.30. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Uh, beloved, without taking much of your time, um, next week is another week. We're going to be having another wonderful session in this September is a month that we need we need to glorify the name of the Lord we need to thank him specially for what he has done hallelujah we need to continue to trust in the Lord and as we do so God will bless you in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah um, if the Lord has um, laid it in your heart to um, support this mission please do so do so um uh this is our details uh solid rocket budget uh, outreach uh account number sort code hsbc or uh, if you if you can't grab that you can contact me and uh, as you do so god will bless you hallelujah hallelujah um we're so sorry once again for this for the network issue today uh, because it's not always like this. It's not always like this. Um, and we just want to appreciate you for being part of this. Some of us are so, so consistent. And I give God the glory for your lives because you've been, you've been, you've, you've been part of this program from the beginning and you are, you are still on with us and we God bless you for doing that in the name of Jesus. Please, please don't forget Saturday, the 5th of September, it's going to be a blast for Jesus. We're going to be worshiping, worshiping the Lord in an unusual way. We bring the contemporary into the African rhythm, and we just want to praise the Lord. We want to call him his different names. Name it. We want to speak in tongue. We want to admonish his name. We want to, we want to praise him unusually. Hallelujah. So if you're not doing anything on Saturday, sit down and watch from this platform. Please, please. As you do so, forget about your worries and just tap into that anointing. Those, those, those ministrations will come and it will begin to do healing. It will begin to do healing in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Um, before we pray, let's just take this song and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah.
wonderful God. We just thank him for what he has done. Shall we close our eyes and pray? Abba Father, we thank you. The King of glory, Lord of Lords, we thank you. We reference you, God, for what you have done for us tonight. We give you all the glory. We magnify you. We magnify you. We reference you because you are a faithful God. We thank you for those for the for the beginning of this program where how far you have taken us. We thank you, Lord, for the vessels you've been using since the start of this program. We want to thank you for their lives. For those men of God that you have brought into this program, we want to thank you for their lives. For those ministers of music that you have brought into this program, we want to thank you for their lives. For the man of God that you have used to tonight father we pray oh lord that as you have used him tonight father lord you will strengthen him again in the name of jesus father lord his ministry will continue to work stronger in the name of jesus he has left everything his life is a testimony he has left everything he did not say because he studied mechanical engineering he did not say because he has been to university but from day one he left everything and followed you abba father we pray lord that everything he needs father lord you will provide for him in the name of Jesus. Everything he needs to propagate this gospel, everything he needs in his own life, everything he needs in his own family, you will provide for him in the name of Jesus, and your name will be glorified. Father, we thank you. I want to thank you for my life, also for this wonderful platform that you have created. That, oh Lord, you will, your anointing will continually flow upon this mission in the name of Jesus. And we will have every reason to glorify you. Thank you, Jesus, for our prayers. As many that are sick, wherever they are, wow, Father Lord, I pronounce healing into their life. As the man of God says, he says, as he prophesies, there shall be healing, there shall be blessings. So shall Libby, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Wherever you are watching me at the moment, Amen. I want to assure you that is there anything you are believing the Lord for, Father Lord. My Father will surprise you in the name of Jesus, and you will come and give testimony because the Lord said it is settled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers. Thank you, Lord, for answering prayers. We bless you, Lord. 
Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all glory. We give you adoration. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Shall we share the grace and fellowship? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Go in peace. In the month of September, go in peace, and it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name. Shalom. Shalom. God bless.